with all the image stuff and like generating like black Vikings or whatever, right? If it hadn't been for the fact that you could ask Google to generate black people, generate Asian people, generate Hispanic people, generate white people, it would go yes, 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 no. Like that was the issue. It was just so blatant, right? And, and right. to not acknowledge that specific blatantness, it's just like, just can we get a shred of honesty here? And if you, you know, John Gruber said this on Dithering, I thought it was exactly right. It just feels like they're acting in bad faith. Like they're just trying to get one over on everyone. And I think that's the part that is galling. And you get a bit of this in this response. Oh, we're trying to figure this out. It's really hard. X, Y, Z. Yeah, exactly. Work in progress. Now, number one, just on what we know, that doesn't feel like that's what's happening. It's not that some people are are, are unfairly mad at Google. Like there was decisions made here. That's number the thing. two, it feels like there were affirmative choices made along the way that informed the product that we all saw last yeah. week. Number two, from what I've heard, and again, take this with a grain of salt, but I actually arguably gave too much credit to Google in the last episode where I was talking about the RLHF process and how people are answering answers and questions. And some pushback that I've heard is, no, actually, internally, the model works fine. Like, it's not doing this crazy stuff. There's literally a, a, a file that is inserted. It really is all in the prompt. It's put in there saying with this, just this massive rule set. And by the way, wow. we talked about Gemini 1.5 and this ability to have a huge context window. We don't know how big the content, you know, maybe the context window for Gemini is actually quite large. And if you have a huge context window, you can it's, you can insert a massive prompt that is like, or you it, maybe it's not even in the prompt. Maybe it's like, it's, it's a level up, so it's not quite seen. I mean, who knows exactly how it's working, but, you know, there's some folks that, that believe strongly that, no, actually this is very explicit. It is it's right at the top level all these rules are sort of inserted and that's why you're getting results where it doesn't even feel like and it, it again i can't confirm this but it doesn't feel like large language model type of errors right mm -hmm. it it like it feels very stark like there's hard lines that are that have been sort of been drawn it feels more deterministic than sort of probabilistic and to the extent that's true again with the caveat this is just hearsay to the extent that's true, it makes this letter from Sundar Pichai look even worse because it's not, we're trying to figure out, we're working overnight. No, just delete the file. Like, right. Delete the file and the, and the language model will behave as expected. At this emerging stage of the industry's development and everything else. Yeah. Right. No, you just said you. Google's role in driving any of this. Right. You have this aspect of Google, you know, there's a drastic difference between the model that runs internally and one that runs externally. Okay. What happened there? Like what's, what's in the middle there. And you know, now I'm sure there is, they are all staying up very late and there's a lot of work going on, but is that work week, technical <laughs> work or is that work political work where there's just like a, a knockdown drag out fight over, are we going to actually tolerate this keep this or not that's what i suspect is going on and again with the caveat to the extent this is true i think that makes i think that makes this letter look look very poor because there's yeah. we're still not getting honesty and if we're not getting honesty from the ceo about what is happening then it doesn't sound like we're making any progress in solving the core cultural problems that undergirded this release. Yeah. And if you want to distill that culture, the, the culture problems that I was writing about, this isn't a, I mean, I've talked about, obviously that the, the article I wrote this week was inherently political because we have no choice. It's been made very political, right? But the core issue is Google at the end of the day is a builds products and yep. building the best product was not the number one priority. That at the core for a product company is a cultural problem. Product does not matter most. Politics mattered most. And so I had to be political because they made politics first. So I will take it head on and say, look, my issue is not necessarily with the answers. Look, let's be clear. ChatGPT is pretty progressive, right? 
I didn't write a thing about that, not because like they are trying to make a good product. They're they're obviously it's a this distilling point is very difficult. You're gonna like Dolly Two was actually pretty extreme on a lot of this stuff too, but there was rapid iteration. Yeah, uh, we we kind of screw this up. We're fixing it. We're gonna make it better. They did, as opposed to this sort of posturing, and this goes further into the whole idea of an aggregator. And this aggregation theory is you win by having the best product. You have the best user experience. You gain trust from users. You leverage that trust into control over the entire value chain. This cultural bit I'm talking about where product was not number one, I'm not upset about that as an analyst for political reasons. Maybe I'm upset as a private citizen for for political reasons. As an analyst, I'm upset because you're compromising the core strategic core of the company. And yeah. that's a problem for a CEO. Yeah, no, 100%. And honestly, I was texting about some of this with Dumman, the third member of the Sharp Tech team, also the sultry voice who narrates the Stratechery Daily Update. And he, <laughs> he had a comment that I thought distilled the situation well. So I'm just going to read from Dumman here. He said, I hate how two-dimensional this analysis gets. Gemini is a sign of org rot in a company, not because of its politics, which is what people focus on, but Google is a company that's value is built upon delivering information and a massive product was announced. It went through multiple rounds of testing and evaluation, and it was flagrantly bad at what the company is supposed to be about. The specifics always matter, but in this case, they're secondary to me. It's just staggering how many layers this must have gone through without it being stopped from being released. And that is really the point. It's just organizationally, it should not be possible for a company with Google's resources to release a product that was as embarrassing and incoherent as Gemini was. And it was so bad that it was potentially harmful to Google's core brand. And really, I mean, I we got emails from people saying, I don't want to use Google anymore. I don't trust Google anymore because of how egregious some of the answers were. And I think we conveyed a lot of that earlier this week, but- the specific problem isn't the politics per se, but the way internal politics seem to have paralyzed Google and its ability to make great products. Well, no, and the, I just, it, I was, I was just gonna say, I did not get very much of that from the Pachai letter. It didn't yes. seem like there was any acknowledgement of the deeper issues that this has shown a light on. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's exactly right. Like, like it, it, this is the core. This is the cultural issue, right? I maybe I'm mad that Google is making me write about politics, but that's the point. We should not be writing about politics in the context of a tech product launch for a company whose business model and strategic position is predicated on having the best product. Yeah. Like it, and if you, uh, if under your leadership as CEO, you have as demonstrated by this very high profile release ha have not kept product as the most important determination, but have made politics more important than you're not the right CEO.